Let's talk about the insurrectionist ex-president. Cancel culture, driving people from their jobs, shaming dissenters, and demanding total submission from anyone who disagrees. This is the very definition of totalitarianism. Oh, looks like Don Don encountered a big word there. When they gaze upon Yosemites, Yosemites. Added to the friggin' list of this dude mispronouncing Yosemite. And an ominous, really an, an ominous. I kid you not, the word is anonymous. Hope they now go and take a look at the oranges, the oranges of the uh, uh, investigation. And last but not least, origins, nonetheless. The goal of cancel culture is to make decent Americans live in fear of being fired, expelled, shamed, humiliated, and driven from society as we know it. So he's against cancel culture. Got it. What I think you ought to do is boycott Apple and Nabisco leaving Chicago with their big plant. They're moving to Mexico. I'm not eating Oreos anymore. You know that. President Trump is calling for a boycott of Goodyear after an employee complained the company wouldn't allow him to wear a MAGA hat to work. The president today tweeting to his supporters not to buy Goodyear tires and arguing this is his chance to fight back against the cancel culture of the left. It's not lost on us that he's arguably one of the founders of cancel culture. Exactly. He does this all the time. So when it came to the Cleveland Indians changing their ball club's name to the Cleveland Guardians, quite frankly, a name change that was very long overdue, guess who absolutely despised it? I will tell you right now, uh, they don't look like Indians to me. They don't look like Indians to me, sir. Thank God that's not the test of whether or not people have rights in this country or not, whether or not they pass your look test. They don't look like the Indians. Now, maybe we say politically correct or not politically correct. They don't look like Indians to me. That would be the guy white supremacists love, Donald John Trump. Upon the announcement, Trump tweeted, Oh no, what is going on? This is not good news, even for Indians. Cancel culture at work. So many people are boycotting Macy's. It's so, I love it. His mantra should be cancel culture for me, none for thee. Now, to add on to his already problematic and hypocritical views, he called for the state of Ohio to cancel the Senate bid of Matt Dolan. Dolan is the son of Indians principal owner, Larry Dolan, and has partial ownership of the team, but holds no official position within the organization. He's banned from Twitter, as you well do know, so he took to saying things out loud and having an intern write it down. Anybody that changes the name of the once stored Cleveland Indians to the Cleveland Guardians should not be running for the United States Senate representing the great people of Ohio, Trump wrote. A man named Matt Dolan, the son of the owner of the team, said he is against cancel culture. Do those two things really work together? In any event, I know of at least one person in the race who I won't be endorsing. The Republican Party has too many rhinos. For the record, Dolan's website reads, few understand the threat of cancel culture more than me. Maybe, just maybe, Trump's ire is because he tried and failed to buy Cleveland's baseball team in 1983. Despite rumors later that year that Trump had bought the team, the deal was never done in large part because Trump stopped short of making an ironclad commitment to Cleveland. Recall Trump's USFL bid and failure in running the New Jersey Generals. The article says Trump was widely blamed. That's shortchanging it. He was the reason for the league's demise, thinking they could compete against the NFL in the fall. If they stayed in the spring, who knows what would have happened? At the very least, more longevity. For reference, Dolan will be facing five other GOP candidates in the U.S. Senate primary race next year, most of whom have attempted to get in the good graces of Trump by hiring former aides or pledging to advance his agenda.